great ideas. We all have them, but the biggest problem is those great ideas very quickly disappear into a sea of other tasks, commitments and events. In this week's episode of Working with Todoist, I'm going to show you how to stop that from happening. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode have I got a great trick for you. Now one of the biggest problems that people have is not actually having the great ideas. Most of us can come up with great ideas whenever we need them really. The biggest problem we have is actually spending enough time developing those ideas before we forget about them. Now one of the things that I've been doing a lot with my coaching clients recently is showing them a quick trick that they can use that's going to keep those great ideas at the front of their mind so that they have time to develop them. And this week I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and then you can start developing your own ideas over a period of time. Okay, before we go into to do this though, I would like to ask if you do like this video, please click on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's go into Todoist and I will show you how to set this up. So let's say that you've developed an idea in Apple Notes. Now this is Apple Notes, This is I don't use this particular one, but in a moment I will show you how to do this with Evernote. But the more complex one, strangely enough, is Apple Notes. Getting a clickable link in Apple Notes is actually quite difficult. And for me, it's not actually logical, but here we go anyway. We've got my great business idea and I've started developing a few ideas in here. And I've got a few links that I want and a few. And I'm just throwing ideas into this at the moment. So it hasn't become a full blown project yet. Basically, I am researching this. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, one of the biggest problems we have when we have great ideas is very quickly that if you're capturing collecting notes on a regular basis your note is going to start dropping further and further and further down your list until eventually it just completely disappears and we don't want that to happen not if this next great business idea could be the billion dollar business that you've always dreamed of creating so how do we capture this note so it keeps in our attention well what we do essentially is we share the note into to do it. So what you have to do in Apple Notes, and as I say, this is the more difficult one, but we click on this and it says copy link. Now you might think, oh, that's easy. Hmm, watch this. What it's going to do is ask me for an email address. So I'm going to put my email address in and there we go. And then I'm going to add share and nothing happens. Well, you'll see in a moment, nothing happens. I don't know what's happened. I haven't got a link. I haven't got an email. I've just shared the link. What I have to do is go back into it now and you'll notice that it's completely changed and it has indeed changed altogether. And what I can now do is copy the link. So I'm going to copy the link, copy the link, and then I'm going to go over to my Todoist and I'm going to add in continue because we want to continue this developing ideas for video conferencing. Okay, so we've done that. What we need to do is create the as a clickable link. So I'm going to put that in brackets like that. And then what I will do is put a space bar and then command V to save uh, to put the the actual um, link in. Now, the good thing about Apple Notes is is Apple computers are quite smart and it does know that you already have it installed. And this actually works on all your iOS devices as well. So when you actually add the task, what you'll notice is now is a clickable link. But we need to actually come up with a way of keeping this in our minds when we are working. So I'm going to make this a P3 because I just love the blue that uh, Todoist has re just introduced. So that's a P3 task. And it's also going to be, uh, let's have a look, what, what, what can we call this? <laughs> I don't really know what to call this one. Uh, so I'm going to call this one and uh, maybe next action. So it doesn't really matter. You will have your own labeling for this. So it's OK. But what I want to do is I want this to repeat every three days. So every three days uh, until 
1st of April. Now what I've got here is this is now going to come up every three days until the 1st of April. So every three days and you'll see here that it says ending uh, on the first, I'm going to get back in the ending on the first of April 2019. Now the reason I've done that is simply because you don't want this repeating forever. Because if you're con developing ideas forever, then nothing is ever going to happen. And if you haven't watched my recent video in Productivity Mastery series, uh, that link is above this screen right now, and I strongly recommend that you do it. So set yourself a limit on this. But this is now going to come up every three days. So if I check it off today. It's going to come up on Monday, which is in three days time. This is a great way of keeping these things on top of your mind. So if you go back to Apple Notes, I'm going to close out Apple Notes now and that's going to close it right down. Uh, so my Apple Notes is not there. Uh, it's there, but uh, it's in, just in my dock, but it's closed down. Now, what I can do is when it comes to Monday, I'm going to go, oh, yes, click on that and I can go straight into the note. Nice is opening me up in uh, in. I don't know why it's opening up in. Um, um, uh, that's probably because I'm using the actual uh, version. Uh, and then where am I? I'm completely lost now. Uh, that's because I'm using the web version of uh, Todoist, not the my actual real Todoist. So if I show you what's going to happen here, if I use my real Todoist, and let's go into my inbox. Well, I've got a lot of labels there. Let's go into my inbox. Um, I'm going to go test. <laughs> this is not exactly how I envisioned this, but I'm not one for hiding the realities of life that things never go according to plan. Let's put it in there. Now, when I click on that, that will open up my notes. There you go. So if you're actually using your real account, it will open up in the real version. So there you go. I just wanted to show you that. Um, all oh, these surprises that come when we're actually do using online demo accounts and using our real account. But there you go. That's the way that you can do it in Apple Notes. Now, let's say that I don't want to use Apple Notes because I use Evernote, which is actually quite true. I do use Evernote. So what we want to do is we need to remove this link. So I'll just get here and I'll just go. Uh, that's gone. Cool. And oh, what I'll do is go into my Evernote. So I've got the same note here in Evernote. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the share note link. Now, the problem with Evernote is why I don't understand why we always have these problems. If you look down here, it says, um, blah, 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 where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Copy note link. Now, if I copy the note link from here, what I'm going to get is a URL scheme. So it is going to open up on, to, on the Internet. What you need to do is you need to hold down the option key on a Mac and copy classic note link. Now, this is not the same for Windows, and I have I will put a link in the notes of this video for you to for the Windows user so you can get the actual Windows one, because I can never remember it. Um, but you're going to copy the classic note link, copy that, and I go into my uh, Todoist, and whoa, 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 whoa. So what I want to do is, da -da, thank you. And we're going to get rid of this link line here, HTTPS, because I don't want that. And what I want to do now is copy paste the Evernote link. Save that. Now, I'm going to close down my Evernote to show you that this works. <laughs> I am now praying that this works. This is my actual room. So I'm going to get rid of that. Go back into to do. So what I want to do on the third day, on Monday, I'm going to click on here and boom, and it's going to want to ask me to open Evernote. So I'm going to allow it. Bang, and it opens up the note in Evernote. And this is just one way to reduce barriers for when, because if you don't put the link in there and it says continue developing ideas, you're going to go into your Evernote, <coughs> Apple Notes or whatever notes app that you're using and you're going to <coughs> look for the note and when you find the note, you're going to start doing it. You're going to resist. What you need to do is to make this as easy as you possibly can so that you will do it on the day that you do. Now, the reason why we want this coming up every three days is that we don't forget the idea. And even if you don't have any ideas at the time, it refreshes your mind and it brings back into focus what you're wanting to develop. And it is what I've found is one of the best ways to develop my incubator notes, as I call them, the notes that I'm developing, but they're not quite ready to go into Todoist as a full blown project just yet. OK. Hopefully that quick tip has given you some ideas. I know this has been very useful to a lot of my coaching clients who are developing ideas. 
and it's just a great way of preventing you from forgetting about your ideas and gives you time to develop them over say a period of a month I mean by all means do it over two months if you wish but I think that might be a little bit long two weeks three weeks four weeks is round about the right length for developing your ideas okay well thank you very much for watching this episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you for watching this video now if you want to take your productivity to a higher level then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of your digital life 2.0 online it is a complete comprehensive productivity and time management course and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before it shows you how to build your very own cod system collect organize and do it shows you how to create the folder structure how to build into your, your goals into your daily to-do list it has everything and not only that you will get a free copy of your digital life 2.0 the book you also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.